Hello, Benedictine Adult Chess Improver. So what I've got here is a really nice chess calculation exercise for the intermediate player. So what you need to do is get yourself a pen and paper and some sort of stopwatch device, you know, your phone, the clock on your phone will do. Go on then, go and get them, hurry up, come back. Right, so in a second I'm going to put up the position on the board and it's white to play. So what you need to do is, as soon as the position flashes up, you need to start your stopwatch and pause the video. So I'll give you five seconds, you know, you can start it on three minutes five, uh, allowing for that five seconds. And then try and solve the position in the three minutes and write down your moves and then start the video again. You ready? So I'm putting the position up in one, two and three. So pause the video and start your stopwatch. So how did you get on with the position? Uh, if you did solve it, well done. If you didn't, don't worry because it is taken from a hard calculation book, the Manual of Chess Calculations 3 book, uh, which is aimed at sort of 2,000 plus players. And this is an easier puzzle from that book, but it's it still ca could be challenging, so don't worry if you got it wrong. If you did get it wrong, then I imagine you did something like this. Right, so if you couldn't be asked to get a pen and paper, uh, then this is your last chance. Come on, get a pen and paper. If not, here is... Uh, what you might have done if you got it wrong. So you probably saw the idea of queen takes b4, black being compelled to take back, and then you immediately must have played rook a8 check, and then struggled with this idea, the fact that there is there is no back rank checkmate, and maybe you, you played around with the knight a little bit, and then you, you couldn't find the solution. So if you did sort of see along those lines, then you were very, very close. Let's have a look at the actual solution. So the actual solution did involve that same idea, but after queen takes b4, uh, rook takes b4, then instead of going with the immediate check, white plays this lovely move, knight d7, which uh, just wins on the spot because it threatens a back rank checkmate thanks to the second rook, that can inter and the knight interposes between the bishop, so uh, as well as obviously attacking the queen. So yeah, so that was the position. Uh, I'm going to do a couple more of these if people are interested. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.